I am ready. Let's be careful. Did you see that? It caught a frog. Wildlife photography can be really frustrating sometimes. Yesterday I was uh, in my car telling that I'm really excited to photograph the dipper. Everything was uh, perfect. The weather forecast was a bit rain in uh, the morning but shit has uh, stopped in uh, later in the evening. So I was hoping for that and uh, found a good spot. Uh, as I uh, found my place where I saw that the dipper has been a lot it's just started to pouring rain and yeah, I was so soaked by the, the rain and I was really frustrated. So I didn't see the dipper at all uh, because I couldn't stay too long. I didn't have anything that would uh, protect me from, from the rain. So uh, yeah, yesterday was really frustrating, but this time it was a bit rewarding because when I walked up here, there's a little pond and lo and behold, there was a egret. I just uh, sat down and I got some picture of it and uh, some video, not much video because it was a bit hard to hold it. I didn't have the time to get up my tripod, but yeah, I will show you that. That was really cool. I love that bird. It's such a stunning bird from the Jurassic area or something. It's so cool looking. Let's go and see if we can find a um, spot for photographing and trying to photograph the wren. Who knows, maybe the squirrels will come today as well. But yeah, let's just have a great day in the forest. Come on. So I'm in place in the height and uh, yeah, I just had the red squirrel down. That was really cool. I think I got some good images with the reflection as well. But uh, I'm still think thinking about that really great experience with the uh, egret. And yeah, that is actually the best thing when you are out hiking or sitting in, uh, in a hide or whatever and wildlife just showed up that you don't uh, expect to show up like this egret here. So now in the spring uh, there uh, will be a lot more frogs in uh, some ponds and waters so they are more active uh, and try to catch some frogs. And I was lucky to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. I was thinking about it a couple of days ago that uh, when I'm out vlogging I have been really lucky the la latest uh, times but uh, before I started to vlog I had many many trips without uh, getting any animal or any wildlife at all so it's not that I'm going out and every time I, I'm out I, it's, it's, uh, it's a hit. So. Here comes the rice quail again.
I'm just gonna wait for a little longer and then I'm thinking about maybe go to try check out another pond I'm really hooked to get uh, some more photograph of the egret so I'm gonna try to um, to see if there is um, to find another egret if not this is it but yeah it was a good time you don't get wild off any time you are out that is just the way it is it's wild animals and birds so you can never predict and yeah but always great to be out and always great to come out and and observe nature in its rawness so yeah that is so good see an egret and I need to be really smart because this egret here not as trustful as the other one let's just stop here and take my camera out this is too exciting I am ready let's be careful Let's just sit here for a while and let Egret get used to me. Now it's about 30 meters from me. I'm not sure if it's standing still to hunt or watching me. I'm not sure. But I'm going to stand put here and see if it moves a little bit closer. Yeah. This is really exciting. Really exciting. Look at this beautiful bird. really cool the egret flew away and uh, yeah did you see that it caught a frog did you see that that was so awesome seeing that behavior <laughs> I'm definitely go coming back here again especially now in, <clears throat> in the spring as I said they are more active because they're the frogs is mating and there is a lot more exposed frogs and therefore easy to hunt for the egret. So yeah, this was cool. Okay, this is it for the day. Hope you enjoy it and hope you consider subscribing if you're new here and maybe give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. So until next time, I will see you guys. Whew.